Mhm. Today we're gonna to do a recipe that I really enjoy eating, but I really don't make often, and that is curry breadfruit. Now, it might be your first time hearing about curry breadfruit, or you might be accustomed to eating it, but trust and believe, it does taste real good. So I have a breadfruit here. Um, I know it's looking a little suspect on the inside, but it should be good to go. So I'm gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. Just gonna peel it first, of course. We're gonna remove the core. And then just cut it into nice bite-sized pieces. Okay, so now that we have our breadfruit cut up, we're gonna move on to prepping the aromatics to make our curry sauce. I'm gonna make a real nice curry sauce. So we dice in two medium-sized onions gonna mince six cloves of garlic, mincing a piece of ginger as well. Of course, some shadow benny, I'll chop that up. Using some celery as well, stalks and the leaves. Cuban, six tomatoes. Cutting up one scotch bonnet pepper and I'm using the seeds and the membrane because I'm going for a spicy curry sauce. But if you don't want your spicy, leave out the membrane and the seeds. All right, so now that I have all the aromatics prepped, I'm gonna move on to making my curry powder. To get the curry going, I'm gonna toast some jeera, coriander, coriander seeds actually, and some methi or fenugreek. So I'm just gonna let this toast until it starts to pop and get fragrant. All right, we're looking good here. So I'm gonna turn off my heat. Now I'm gonna put this in the spice grinder and grind it until it's a fine powder. All right, so we have our spices ground into the powder. Just gonna put it in this bowl here. And now we're gonna mix in some turmeric powder. And boom, just like that, we have a nice homemade curry blend. And there's a mild curry blend because we already have a whole scotch bonnet pepper uh, cut up there to add to the dish. So I didn't add any chili powder or chili flakes or anything to this. Okay, time to get the breadfruit going. I'm gonna add a little oil to our pan. I'm gonna go in with the breadfruit. Season it with salt and a little black pepper. And I just want to fry this off for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, so our breadfruit has been going for about 10 minutes. And as you can see here, we have a nice brown color going on it, perfectly cooked. So I'm just going to remove this from the fire and transfer it to a bowl. Okay, so I return my pan to the fire and we're going to get started on the curry sauce. Going in with our onions. I'm gonna let this saute for a bit. Now I'll add in the garlic, ginger, add in some karapule or curry leaves. And you can get karapule in the market by certain vendors, or you can get it from a neighbor. A lot of people have trees in their yard in Trinidad and Tobago. Now I add in the scotch bonnet pepper, celery, shadow benny. Mix that up. At this point I want to add a little salt. Now I add in our curry powder. I'm gonna let this saute for about two minutes. Okay, so here I have about a tablespoon of raw tamarind paste, and this is something you could get in the market. Uh, if you can't find tamarind paste, you could use the store-bought, the ones that you get in the grocery. 
And to this, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of jaggery. And if you can't find jaggery, you could use brown sugar or regular white sugar. And jaggery is something you could source locally as well. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of hot water. And I'm just gonna dissolve this. You want to remove the seeds from the tambran because you don't want the seeds up in there. All right, so this is fully combined and ready to add to the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so we have our curry still going here. We're gonna add some tomatoes. And we're gonna add our tambran paste. Just gonna let this saute for about two minutes. All right, so to our curry mixture, add in a cup and a half of coconut milk. Stick this in. Three minutes later, sauce looking good. Taste it for salt and everything. We good on the salt. I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl. And now we're gonna just use an immersion blender to blend this up. If you have a regular blender, feel free to use that. Just using this because, well, it's easier and it's less cleanup. Now I add in another cup of coconut milk. I'm gonna blend this in. All right, that is it. Our curry sauce finish. Let's give it a little taste. Mm-hmm. Proper. Tasting real good. So let's move on to finishing this curry breadfruit. So for the final steps in this curry breadfruit, just gonna add some more oil to the pot, or to the pan. I'm going in with some chopped onions. Just gonna let this saute for about 30 seconds. I'm not looking for this to cook down too much, I just want a light saute on it. I'm gonna add some quartered tomatoes. Season slightly with a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna add our breadfruit. We're going to add our curry sauce. And we're gonna finish with some fresh shadow benny and fresh celery. And there we have it. I mean, if you could smell inside here right now, I'm gonna tell you, smelling real good. I can't wait to dig in and try this. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, the moment I've been waiting for. Listen, it's a long time I need this, so I'm kind of excited. I'm just going to take out a little bit on this plate here. Yeah, I mean, you see how colorful this dish is. The greens from the fresh herbs, the yellow and the deep color, the curry, and the tomatoes, just giving it a little pop. Mm-hmm, excited. Going in for a taste. I'm gonna tell all this something, eh? I know usually I just say this thing tasting real good. And I might say that for a lot of recipes, but trust and believe this, I don't even know how to explain it. But I'll try. Frying off the breadfruit before we toss it up in the curry sauce, it gives it a real kind of meaty texture in the dish. And of course the curry sauce we build real flavors, aromatics, you know, the onion, the garlic, the ginger, shadow benny, celery up in there, heat from the scotch bun and pepper. And then we have the curry blend, jeera, coriander seeds, methi, 
We grind that up, mix it up with the turmeric, make our curry powder. We add the curry leaf inside it for more rich flavor. And of course, we cannot forget the tambran and jaggery. You see that hint of tanginess from the tambran and then the sweetness from the jaggery? That just make this curry sauce next level. Next level. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. You have to try this one. Have to. If you like this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up and give it a share. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so. And if you do try it, post your photos to social media, tag us in them, we'd love to see it. As always, a link to the full recipe will be posted in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.